What's up guys, we're out here today at the Super Ohio Toy Show, so let's go see what we can find. All right guys, let's get things started off here at my table. Um, it was a great show. Super Ohio Toy Show was such a success for me. Um, you know, I bring out my stuff here. I got to move a variety of it, get that in the homes of collectors that will love and appreciate it. Um, and a really great thing about this show was I got to meet a lot of new people. You know, I got to see a lot of familiar faces and some old friends, but I got to meet a ton of new people. Uh, so if I, you came out to the show, you should stop by and you said hi. You know, guys, I really appreciate getting to meet you. Uh, it was so much fun. Your support really does mean a lot to me, so thank you for that. And this show was just such a huge success. Um, as you can see here, guys, the line was crazy. I mean, absolutely bonkers. Like, it was going so long. It went down the hallway, all the way out into the lobby. Um, it was just crazy. You know, I'm, I'm going super fast through this line here, speeding up the footage so you can see it. It literally went out the door. So let's get moving around here, guys. Check out what all the show had to offer. Uh, I mean, guys, the Super Hot Toy Show, it really was super. Um, great name choice by Aaron, who puts it on. Um, and I had such a blast, such a variety of stuff, so let's go around and check it all out. Here was a pretty epic item guys, it was a double telescoping vintage Luke Skywalker. It was graded, it was, looked super nice all cased up and even came with a certificate of authenticity. Not only did that booth have a DT Luke guys, it also had a droids A-Wing. I mean you're looking back there and you're going holy cow, it's got the box. But I, you know, I looked a little bit closer and the, the box is repo. So, you know, hard pass on the box, at least for me. Uh, I don't do anything in reproduction, but it's still really cool to check out. As you notice here, guys, this booth here was packing some Funko Pop vinyls. Um, and one thing that was really nice about this show was that it wasn't just overwhelmed with pops. You know, you go to some of these shows, and you know, I like pop vinyls, I collect some of them, but there's shows that you go to that are just overwhelmed with pop vinyls. I think this show had a really nice balance of them, it had enough selection to really offer a good selection for collectors that collect those, but it also wasn't overwhelming to people who don't. Uh, it just was a really good balanced show with what it had to offer. Speaking of Funko Pops, this was the only booth at the show that I saw at least that was just Funko Pop only. Uh, and they really had a good selection. They had some really rare ones and then they had, you know, the cheaper lower end pops that you were, you know, for everyone's price range. Uh, they really had some cool stuff to check out. Love that big Ezra right there. But overall, it was just really good when it came to Funko Pops. Um, I really don't know what the proper way to describe this is. I know it sounds cheesy, but like, it was just a very well amount of balance when it came to them. Okay, jumping right back over to action figures, here was a booth that had a pretty awesome selection of stuff. They had Transformers, they had Power Rangers, and of course, one of my favorites, Star Wars. So let's check out what all they had to offer. Uh, they had some really cool clone troopers here. Uh, they also had some great 30th anniversary figures. Uh, the 30th anniversary Star Wars line is a line that I've often thought about trying to be a completist in, but just haven't, just because, you know, just being a complete as anything, at least for me, is you know kind of a big commitment for that. Uh, it's a lot of money you have to sink into something, and it just makes you kind of dedicated to hunt those certain things. And I like to have the freedom to hunt around and just pick up whatever really catches my eye.
Here's another quality booth that I just know you're going to love. They had everything from Skeleton Warriors to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to Transformers, Jurassic Park, Vintage Star Wars, uh, Street Sharks. They had, literally had a mix of it all. Uh, all really good quality. Most of it, you know, mint in box too. So, you know, I was talking earlier just about how many different people there were at this show. Uh, I truly did get to meet a lot of my old friends and make some new ones as well. So, you know, you know, Josh Pence and Toy Bills are both at this show. There's also some really cool new YouTubers I got to meet too for the first time in person. Both these guys have absolute great channels. I love watching them myself. So after you get done watching this video, make sure you go check them out too. Guys, we're out here at the Super Ohio Toy Show with... Rustbuck Collector, JCC2224, and they're both here on YouTube, they're both amazing channels, guys, make sure you go check them out, I'll throw cards that right on up here, so make sure after you, you know, watch this video, go to that, it'll be in the description as well. At least my channel's amazing, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, mine's pretty m mediocre, but I have more subscribers than him, so. Liar. <laughs> Liar. So what are you guys thinking of the show? It's great, man. It's pretty great. awesome. I buy stupid stuff all the time. What did I just get? What did yeah. you get? Dude, look at that. I didn't need this. I didn't need this. There's another skeleton warrior right up there. Oh my gosh, where is he? Right there. How much is that one? Yeah. Well, I'll bring it down here. We can talk I'm it out here in a second. Yes. <laughs> I probably shouldn't buy it though. <laughs> so you guys having a good time show then, obviously. Yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. So your next question is, you know, YouTubers, why aren't you guys filming? Are you guys out here getting some footage? I, I was going to get some footage here, and then you're like, hey, are you JCC? And I'm like, yeah. You're crashing my party. Wait, I'm, well, I'm dude, crashing the video. It's Inception. We Check got a video of the video. Ohio Nerd. What? Maybe, maybe I should. JCC too. Oh, sorry. He doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> you guys participate in this Inception. Hmm? Oh, this is getting intense. I don't even know what's happening right now, guys. I really don't even know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know. So guys, make sure you guys go check out their channel. As you can tell, they're both pretty fun guys. So I'll catch you guys around. Make sure you stay tuned for more great toy content to come. Just in case you missed it, guys, that was JCC22224. That is two Cs, three twos, and a four. And Russ Belt Collector. Both of them have great channels. I'll have links to those down in the description. So like I said, once this video is over, you know, go click those links and give them support. If you're digging this video, I'm sure you're going to dig their channels too. While you're at it, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Your support really does matter and it really does make a difference. Thank you guys so much. Here's a setup I haven't seen in a while, an all Star Trek setup, and I mean it was some good quality Star Trek stuff too. Uh, the last time I saw a Star Trek setup it was kind of iffy, but this guy really rocked it out and had a full on great selection. This setup here, guys, was from Rob. Rob puts on the Great Ohio Toy Show, which will be held this year, March 28th, 2020, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Greene County Fairgrounds and Expo Center. If you've never been to the Great Ohio Toy Show, guys, this really is a great show, worth checking out. Again, that is March 28th from 8 to 4 at the Greene County Fairgrounds and Expo Center. The Great Ohio Toy Show is truly a great show. It's worth checking out. I love it, I go to it every year. 
Uh, there's actually a couple videos up on the channel here about that show, and it has its own playlist too. So if you're curious, you know, want to know some more information on that show, go check out those videos. It truly is a fun time. I hope to see you at that show as well. Another favorite item of mine to get to check out is the Star Wars Vintage Collection figures that they have at shows. That line is just so great. I love the card art and I love how detailed the figures are. Another absolutely fully loaded booth, guys, right here was James Ford's booth of CTS Promotions. Uh, James puts on the Columbus Toy Show, which will be held this year, March 22nd. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Ohio State Fairgrounds and Expo Center. If you've never been to the Columbus Toy Show, you're missing out. I mean, it is the best show in the state of Ohio and one of the best shows in the entire country. Truly a great time. I hope to see you guys there March 22nd from 8 to 4 at the Ohio State Fairgrounds. You know, the Columbus Toy Show, you know, there's a bunch of videos for that here on the channel too. It's got its own playlist with the CTS promotions. Um, like I said, if you haven't been there, I don't know what you're doing. That show is epic. So this setup here guys is Aroma Collectibles. Aroma Collectibles is run by Aaron and Aaron also put it on this awesome show. Aaron, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for all the work you did to have this show. It was a great time. Thanks for having us all out. So Roma Collectibles really had a lot of, you know, like the higher end collectibles, Mezcos, Hot Toys, Mythic Legions, you know, Maddie Collectors type things. And my question to all you guys out there who collect that type of thing is, what is it about that line that draws you to it? Is it the scale? Is it the detailedness? Is it the rarity of the figures? Is it just, you know, you know, that elusiveness of like having that, you know, a little bit higher item? Let me know what it is that makes you guys want to collect those down in the comments below. Now here we have one of my absolute favorite things to find at a toy show, dig bins. You never know what you're going to find, you always got to take your time and go through them. Now here was something that you just don't get to see every day. An entire complete set of the vintage G.I. Joe Night Force figures. Very rare figures guys, if you're unfamiliar with them, they are variants of the original G.I. Joe figures and back in the day they were a Toys R Us exclusive. Very cool to get to see an entire full set of those. So this setup here was from the toy department, and if you're unfamiliar with them, they pack heat wherever they're going. Always have a great booth and a great setup. If you've never been in their store, make sure to go check it out. Like I said, look at that guys, early bird kit right there, something I really hope to add to my collection someday. But they always come with great rare items. If you can't afford, at least come check them out. Really fun to get to see them. You know guys, like I said, I was running into people left and right that I knew, 
And here you guys have it, Jason Redman. Oh my gosh, guys, it's Jason. Jason Redman hunts. Subscribe, guys, at Ohio Nerd here. Guys, Jason also does a, a you know toy collecting YouTube channel. I'll have a link to his channel down in the description. It really was crazy just how many fellow YouTubers I ran into at this show. You know, I've gone to bigger shows before multiple times, but I've never ran into this many YouTubers. It was really cool, you know, to have that community in real life. If you guys are ever out there and you watch my videos, please introduce yourselves to me. I'd love to meet you. Uh, it's so much fun getting to talk to you, see what you guys like, see what you guys don't like, and hear from you and what all you collect and what stories you have to tell. So if you're ever out there, don't be shy. Please introduce yourself. As you can see, this show had just great selection. It was a fun time. Got to meet tons of great new people. Got to see some old friends as well, which is just so much fun. Going to toy shows is just an absolute blast. The next show that Aaron will put on will be the Ohio Toy and Comic Show. It will be held at Wright State University in the Nutter Center, Saturday, July 11th. If you're looking for something fun to do this weekend, though, guys, Saturday, February 8th, 2020, that's right, this weekend here, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., there will be the Toy Ohio Toy Show at the Metroplex Expo Center in Girard, Ohio. I have a booth set up there as well, as well as a lot of other people I'm friends with. It'll be a fun show. Uh, if you want more information on that show, you can check them out at Toy Ohio Toy Show on Facebook. I'm pretty sure they have their own website, or I have a video, a couple videos uh, about that show on here as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. Your support really does mean a lot to me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and may the force be with you.